I was starting to take that personally, you know. It's kind of like when you show up to a door and you ring the doorbell and nobody comes. Starting to feel that, but I'm, I'm glad, <laughs> glad we got that screen up. Uh, so glad to get to celebrate. This is Pamela McCrimmon, my new friend. I got to meet her a couple weeks ago. Laquita Engel and myself and Patrick Barnes were out on Tuesday night outreach visit. We go every week to folks that have visited our church. And we were visiting with Miss Pamela. She had a very clear gospel testimony. We were celebrating with her. We were about to leave, and I said, uh, Miss Pam, is there anything we can pray for you about? And she said, yes, I need to be baptized. Well, that's like waving a flag at a bull to tell a Baptist minister that you need to be baptized. So I was super, super excited to hear that story. So Miss Pamela, has there ever been a time in your life when you had a life-changing moment with Jesus? Yes. Well, tell us about that. Tell me what your life was like before Christ. I was worried in fear. And, you know, while I was attending a children's church, and I left my class to to go to the bathroom and passing by Brother Vernon's room, I heard him speaking and and talking about Jesus and his works, and then he died to save me. Mm -hmm. By the way, this was a different Brother Vernon. We have a Brother Vernon here, and that mm -hmm. was a Brother Vernon at your church, and you heard him preaching about Jesus dying to save you, and what was that mm -hmm. like? Well, it made me to where I slipped into the back of his class. I stayed to listen, and I stayed for his service. And when he called for those to come down front to be saved, I went to the altar and I accepted Jesus as my Savior. Amen. Amen. And then you know, over two years ago, I refocused my life to Christ. I spent most of my time alone, shutting myself away from the world, just focusing on his word, listening to his word. And I was gifted with an overwhelming sense of peace. He's given me strength and courage. I see him working in my life. I hear him when he speaks to my heart. And he led me here. That's awesome. You were uh, feeling like you needed to get plugged into a church. You were watching services online, watching Charles Stanley, mm -hmm. and you felt like God told you to find a church, and he took you here. He brought you here. Yes. That is so awesome. And this past week, when I called you about baptism, what were you watching uh, that day? What did you do? I was, I was listening to Dr. Stanley, and normally his sermons are not that long, but that one was a very long one, and it was all about the importance of baptism. And then that afternoon, you called me. And when I called, you said, it's a sign. This That's is what right. God wants me to do. And I was watching PBS, and it was talking about the importance of water. And most of that was on baptism. Yeah. And on he's PBS? Given, yes. Wow. <laughs> yes. And he's given me the strength. I've always had fear of speaking in front of people yes. and the fear of going through with this, but he's giving me the strength and the courage to do it. And he's with you, and you're here with friends and family who are celebrating your story today. And your story is going to encourage somebody else. And if, if you guys can't hear from God that you need to be baptized, we're going to send Charles Stanley and Pamela McCrimmon to your house, okay? <laughs> we're going to make sure that you hear the story. But, Miss Pamela, based on your profession of faith that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, it is our privilege to get to baptize you. I'm going to go ahead and take your glasses. Pamela has had some uh, back injury in the past, so I'm going to be super, super careful about how we do this. So I'm going to make sure I take my time here and we, uh, we uh, don't, don't want to injure any further. But and I don't want to have to pull you in. You don't want to have to pull me in. I appreciate that. Uh, we'll count it if you do, okay? We'll add it. So based on your unashamed profession of faith in Christ, that Jesus Christ is your Lord, it is my privilege to baptize you today, my sister in Christ, in the name of the Father. Son, Holy Spirit, buried with Christ in his death, raised to walk in the newness of life. Gotcha. You okay? All right. 